with the discovery of the prototypes buzzing around Hyundai's testing center in Nürburgring, Germany, and its home ground Namyang, Korea, where the letter N moniker is taken from. It's no secret that ultra-high performance N versions of the Ionic series of dedicated electric vehicles are being prepared, to provide supercar-like performance at affordable prices. A pair of such EVs expected to be unveiled soon is the Ionic 5 N crossover hatchback, and Ionic 6 sedan. Known to be sharing the internals with the already exposed Kia EV6 GT, with 577 horsepower and 546 pound-feet of torque that propels the low-slung crossover from standstill to 60 miles per hour in under 3.5 seconds, which is expected to be released at the end of the year. The anticipation for the Hyundai's versions, which are still largely shrouded in mystery, is now higher than ever, with the exposure of the new prototypes that could very well be the end version of the Ionic 6 electric sedan, and leaked information pertaining to the performance characteristics of the upcoming Ionic 5N, which is reported to be drastically different from that of Kia's approach. In this episode, we will explore what we could expect from the most exciting automotive performance division recently with respect to its EV program. So, before we go on, we'd highly appreciate your support by subscribing, and turning on the notification bell, if you haven't already. And please don't forget to like, comment, and vote on the question that's presented at the end of the video. Before the retirement of the legendary Albert Bierman, he laid down the framework for perhaps the most progressive performance division of an automobile manufacturer. With 30 years of experience as the BMW M division boss with cars like M3, M4, and M6 under his belt, Bierman made history by giving birth to cars like Kia Stinger and Genesis G70 that have single-handedly changed the perception of Korean cars that suffered from a cheap car that's also terrible to drive image. Genesis G70 became the first Korean car to be awarded the prestigious Motor Trend Car of the Year, and the Stinger became critics' favorite all over the world, becoming an instant classic for all car enthusiasts, that have longed for a stylish grand tour that doesn't break the bank, and comes with quality and reliability, which wasn't a hallmark of the expensive German and American GT cars of the past. And he didn't stop at just mimicking the BMW by creating relatively high-end cars like G70 and Stinger, but was given the full responsibility of creating the new performance sub-brand N, with a clean sheet of paper with hardly any strings attached, which is considered unorthodox for a highly bureaucratic organization that is a car company, especially for a very conservative Korean automaker, that people hardly knew about. That quickly changed as the Hyundai Motor Group emerged as the world's leading manufacturer, with the help of Biermann and his German compatriot Peter Schreier, who was also retired at the same time last year, that forged a new image for the once mediocre Hyundai and Kia brands, as the builder of quality cars with high style and performance. Through the N Performance division, Biermann created masterpieces such as i30N and Veloster N, performance cars that people can actually afford. Not just go fast cars with bigger turbos and displacements, but genuine performance cars that are more focused on generating fun to drive quotient than simply faster 0 to 60 times. Although Biermann is now no longer active with the company, his legacy is expected to continue even as Hyundai is transitioning over to the full electric era. The Korean auto giant has already announced that its latest N branded products Kona N and Elantra N, would be the last of their kind, as far as the internal combustion variety is concerned, however, the tradition is expected to continue into the age of the full electric cars. In fact, Biermann and N Division has been working towards the electric transformation for years, even before hardly anyone knew about the Korean dedicated electric car program, as it was Biermann's RM or racing midship project that was instrumental in making the 800-volt charging system the marquee feature of the new EGMP dedicated EV platform, that in turn made the likes of the award-winning and class-leading Ionic 5 and EV6 what they are today. The electric RM20E and the subsequent racing version Veloster NETCR, were actually test beds for the integration of the state-of-the-art 800-volt architecture, that was derived from the Remac electric supercars, making the new dedicated EVs of the company a few of the fastest charging, and the most sophisticated EVs on the market, with the addition of advanced features such as V2L and V2G bidirectional charging system. Furthermore, as a race car-derived platform and technology, Ionic 5 and EV6 are already known to be a couple of very performance-oriented cars that are extremely fun to drive. As tested by Edmunds and compared with the similarly equipped key competitors' performance versions such as Ford Mustang Mach-E Premium and Tesla Model Y Long Range, both Ionic 5 and EV6 perform superbly, by posting specification-defying performance figures. For example, the 321-horsepower dual-motor all-wheel-drive Ionic 5, out-accelerated more powerful and lighter Tesla Model Y long range, and with the nearly 4,700 pounds of weight, it also pulled incredible 0.91 g on the skid pad, easily beating out other competitors. Furthermore, what is the most impressive is not what's on paper, 
but how the huge and relatively heavy car is well behaved and composed on the tarmac, with very predictable and linear handling characteristics. Many things may have contributed to this outstanding performance, including just honest to goodness chassis and suspension tuning by the N engineers, led by Albert Bierman, but with race inspired technology such as the integrated drive axle, in which the drive shaft, wheel hub, and bearing have been developed into one integrated drive axle. This is beneficial in terms of withstanding extreme lateral g-force, weight reduction of 1.7 kg, noise reduction, and better power delivery. This technology was born as a result of the Hyundai's WRC success, which found its way into N cars such as the Elantra N, and is now available in all of the new generation EVs. And not surprisingly, this technology transfer from racing will continue to flow even more so, into the N branded electric cars. Expected to be unveiled at the end of 2022 is the company's very first N branded electric car, the Ionic 5N. Unlike the sibling EV6 GT, which has already been exposed from the outset, at the same time as the pedestrian versions of the EV6, the N version of the Ionic 5 has largely been covered in secrecy, with only vague acknowledgement of its existence by Biermann occasionally. Even as prototypes filled the streets, flaunting its glorious 21-inch performance wheels, with the planted down suspension, there wasn't much information available on the car. That is until now. It has been recently discovered that although the basic drivetrain will be similar to the EV6 GT's 577 horsepower dual motor power electric system, the tuning approach, and therefore the end result, is reported to be drastically different. While EV6 GT is really an extension of the GT car spirit of Kia Stinger, focused on maintaining composure and comfort while going fast, the end division's approach will be to turn a Santa Fe sized sports utility vehicle into a hot hatch of the sort, consistent with the characteristics of the other ICE based end cars such as i30N and i20N, well known for their tight body control and extreme agility. To accomplish this, it's revealed that the N engineers are concentrating on tuning the chassis and suspension for the optimal rebound rates, and recalibrating the electronic limited slip differential for more aggressive settings, compared to the one found in the EV6 GT. As for the external modifications, the changes from the run-of-the-mill Ionic 5 will be very minimal. The most noticeable change will be the unique wheels and tires that measure 255 40 21, same as the Kia EV6 GT, but whereas the Kia wears the ultra-high performance Michelin Pilot Sport 4S, the Ionic 5N has been seen wearing just as potent Pirelli P0HN, which is designed specifically for the full-fledged Hyundai N cars. Other giveaway will include red accent trims throughout the vehicle, as well as the N-badged red brake calipers. Also, the latest prototype seems to be wearing slightly restyled and deeper bumpers and side claddings, but they are not hugely different from the standard version. However, the exterior cosmetic enhancement for Ionic 6N seems to be a bit more noticeable, as the latest spy photos reveal the enhanced version of the Ionic 6 showing seemingly more purposeful side skirts and a front air dam, with drastically improved wheels compared to the standard model. It was also the first time that we got a glimpse of the interior of the Ionic 6 performance model, with the steering wheel clearly being different than the conventional type. In addition to the sport steering wheel, consistent with other end cars, the interior modifications will include sport bucket seats, colored seat belts, and placement of end button to draw out the maximum performance, and other end exclusive features to finely tune specific performance attributes of the car, such as the suspension setting, steering ratio, and the engine sound, albeit being 100% synthesized, unlike the unmistakable crackling and popping exhaust tune of the ICE end cars. Similar to the end grin over boost function, in the DCT versions of the internal combustion N cars, which provides roughly 10% more power for a short period of time, there is also to be a boost mode with essentially the same functionality in the electric N cars. In the case of the sibling Genesis GV60, the boost mode provided an additional 50 horsepower and 77 pound-feet of torque from base 429 horsepower and 446 pound-feet of torque. For 10 seconds for instant power surge, we expect a similar boost in power for the Ionic N cars as well. Finally, and most importantly, even with all the performance, it fully fulfills its duty as economical transportation with the estimated range of 250 miles or 400 kilometers WLTP, paired with a 77.4 kWh battery, as is the case for the Kia EV6 GT. The expected release date for Ionic 5N is in 2023 after the unveiling in late 2022, at the price similar to the Kia EV6 GT, which is 72 million Korean won. That's equivalent to roughly $60,000 US, and could be the bargain of the century for the level of performance you can get. The Ionic 6N should be available in 2023 as well, with the price expected to be a couple of thousand dollars more than the hatchback version.
Additionally, before 2027, there are expected to be a couple of smaller N hatchbacks that are to likely succeed the ICE models such as the Veloster N and Kona N, with up to 400 horsepower, and an even greater value proposition. For more information, please check out our other feature presentation. As for the end of the video question, with all the ultra high performance EVs that are hitting the streets, what would be your choice? Please vote and share your views by clicking on the link in the comment section below or in the description. Thanks for watching AutoVision, your best source for the fastest Korean car news and rumors. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and click on the notification bell, as not to miss any of our new videos. It would help the channel greatly if you could view our videos as soon as they are uploaded, and watch them all the way until the end, which would help to reach more people. Also, to support our channel even further, please join our membership and enjoy the exclusive content and preview of the upcoming episodes. Finally, don't forget to join our forum and share your passion for Korean cars at koreancarnews.com. See you next time with the latest Korean car news.